Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is in Drosophila bar shaped eyes B, scalloped wings S, cross veinless wings W and eye color C are located on the X chromosome. The recombinant frequencies of each gene is indicated in the table below. Construct a chromosome map. Usually students have difficulties to solve this type of problems, but actually it is easy to solve. Imagine that this is one chromosome and here's another homologous chromosome. Here we have gene A, gene A here and gene B here and gene B here. And during meiosis two homologous chromosomes line up and uh, crossing over may happen in many places between these two genes. The greater distance between genes, the more frequent crossing over would be between the genes A and B. But what if we move gene B, let's say here, take a look what's going to happen in this case. In this case, crossing over between gene A and B, crossing over would be reduced. So frequency would be reduced. Now you have idea that the greater distance between genes, then the greater chances of the crossing over between those genes. Now we can solve this problem and we can start with the fragment which is biggest and this is going to be CS fragment. So let's put this fragment here and this is going to be gene C and gene S here. So now let's highlight this fragment. So we know that we already use this fragment. Next, we take next biggest fragment and this is going to be WS. But now take a look. We can put this fragment whether here or we can put it here. And in this case, as you see, W, gene W can be whether here or here. Which variant cho to choose? This one or this one? And we will be able to, cho to choose the correct answer if we'll find in our table distance between gene C and W. Do we have such fragment? Yes. C and W is 3%. So this is would be the correct position and not this one. So we can cross out this variant. This is not going to be the correct variant. So distance between gene C and S is 11. Map unit, so 1% frequency uh, of the crossing over equals to one map unit. And we also have found that between gene W and S is 8% and between C and W is 3% recombination frequency or map units. So also let's cross out this variant that we already used. So we already used this variant and we use WC this variant here. Next fragment by size is going to be BS 5.5 percent recombination frequency or map units. Again, we can position gene B with uh, to be somewhere here or to be somewhere here. Which variant to choose? Again, let's find distance between gene B and W. Do we have such distance? Yes, it is um, B and W 2.5%. So this variant we cannot use. So we just can cross out and this is going to be the correct position on our map. So we used this fragment and now the distance between gene B and gene S is 5.5 map units. We also know that distance between gene W and B, W and B, 2.5 map units. So let's put this distance also here, this 2.5 map units. So 
2.5 map units between W and B, between B and S, 5.5. So 5.5 plus 2.5 would give us distance between G and W and S, 8 map units. So this is correct. And now let's check the last fragment, B and C, 5.5 map units. So between B and C, we should have 5.5 map units. So let's put this distance here, 5.5. How we can be sure that this distance is 5.5 units? Take a look, between gene B and S 5.5, if between B and C 5.5, then between C and S we should get 11. And this is exactly what we get building, constructing our map. So we also can state the order of the genes on this chromosome, which is C, W, B, and S. One more time, we have only four genes, one, two, three, and four. And we have found the order of these genes according to the recombination frequency between these genes. So as you see, it is relatively easy. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.